Hey everyone, welcome to some Rack. Uh, this is a game I covered about a year ago when it was in beta, and it's uh, gotten the full release uh, in the last week, and so I want to cover it again just to see uh, what's changed and what's different. So I guess uh, without further ado, let's get started, I suppose. Um, I should mention, though, something I did discover on my own a little bit here. Uh, if you play Cakewalk in casual, you get to save as much as you want. Medium and Hardcore doesn't actually quite have the same like saving mechanics as you'd uh, expect. You can quit uh, and it will save your place. However, uh, it, it, it looks like it uh, it uses its live system, if you remember the last time I covered it. Uh, and now it kind of forces you to use that now, so you don't get the option of actually quick saving anymore and going back somewhere. So you're actually punished for your mistakes now. So let's play a hardcore. They play hardcore games for hardcore gamers such as myself. World Peace is Blast. Uh, I'm not gonna read this to you. You just uh, kind of skim over it if you'd like. There's a lot of dialogue to this game, so the text is large enough so you, you can probably read it on your phone as well. So the game is using kind of like a a, a comic book style. I, I think this is something that didn't really click in with me before the last time uh, I played it, and now it's just much more obvious to me now. Uh, and there's been a, uh, there's been a lot of positive changes as well. Uh, as you'd expect with a, a game with its release. There's also a lot to do with the, uh, uh, the, st the Steam Marketplace is very big for this game. Uh, well, it, it it's not very big right now, but well, it, it just got released. But uh, you can kind of, uh, I'll show it to you maybe at the end uh, of some of the things that people have made and the potential because it comes with a, its own map editor uh, and some other things like that, so. We're gonna just uh, go right through this. Hey, look, a nice sword there. It's kind of cool. It's a like a little bit of a graphic novel style uh, dialogue kind of thing. Oh well, the art the art is really nice. That's that's what I meant to say. I like that. In fact, the entire art style of the game with the cell shading is actually very nice. And we have some more dialogue here. <laughs> he talks to himself. Got a bit of a sense of humor to it. All right. Well, uh, with normally the, with the games like this that I play, I'm not very good at finding secrets. I know I, I think I remember a couple from uh, the last time I, I played it. So you have your basic sword attack here. Um, the view model for this is is huge. Uh, just, it's not really a complaint; it's just an observation, more or less. And, and there you go. We have our first weapon, the pistol, and. And actually, something I wanna I wanna note. I'm not sure if this was in here the last time I played it, but they got these nice little animations now for whenever uh, you switch the weapons, which is kind of neat. Uh, I, I I don't think it was there because I, I I think I mentioned something about how the the weapons didn't really feel like they had personality, and it this kind of does add it. It's it's a very subtle change, but it does actually a lot. So the pistol is basically my low, low damage kind of sniping weapon. Um, right now the sword is still just the best for everything. Except for ranging people who are ranging me. I don't really feel inclined to go over there and risk my life to kill these guys. So I'll just snipe them from very, very long range. Oh, uh, I didn't see that little spider there. Now, if you'll notice, the camera really likes to move. Uh, this is actually a t an option in the uh, in the settings, and I'm gonna probably turn it off uh, in a little bit. But I do want to show you uh, a little bit of something with the combos that ha has been added. Uh, oh, we got some more ammo here. Just he head up here. If I if I have the option to do some combos, uh, 
not really. There's not enough enemies right now. And here's the first secret that I'm aware of. This level is more of a tutorial level. Alright, and that's uh, secret 2 out of 3, so there's another secret that I, I don't know where it is, and I'm not really gonna go looking for it, I think. And here's our shotgun. Also, do you notice the, the, the moving kind of a thing when I move around? That's... I, I think that's... I think that just the entire animations got overhauled, and there's also some idle animations for this stuff. I, I think this is kind of a, a joke towards uh, the <laughs> games with aiming down sights. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and show you something in a second. All right, and here's uh, one of the combo multiplier things, and that would be basically the game's equivalent of a railgun. Uh, the pistol can every weapon has its own kind of uh, combo finisher. Now, I wanted to show you that one in particular because that one, the when I switch to the pistol, it just goes up and down for a second, which makes it very difficult to aim. So. In this particular case, like, I, I just want to show off, like, what the game is doing by default to, um, apparently I cannot edit that setting. Oh, here we go. Camera movement. So I can reduce, so this is about weapons reduce effect, the, uh, the, the weapons affect the camera. So, um, I can tell it no. I'm going to try reduced for now because it does make it very difficult to, to aim, uh, in a lot of cases. So that's why I'm going to just try and skip it. Hello. So this is kind of just telling you about some of the patterns of movement that you're going to have to deal with. And he's pretty much dead. Kind of a boss level mini boss, whatever you want to call it. Also, the art. The art is really nice, actually, in this game. They had a really good artist do this kind of stuff. Kind of like some kind of new age, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a very good art connoisseur. <laughs> I couldn't tell you anything. I didn't even pretend to. Alright, so now we have a, a pit of, a nice pit of lava here. And also a secret over here. Which you have to jump pretty far to, and I fucked it up. And unfortunately, I just I, I just wasted life on that, and that that's pretty much a disadvantage. There is no quick saving system. Uh, well, there is, but I'll press it. Do you want it? You'll be returned to the main title screen. So, if that's not really your thing, then just uh, and also it's well, there's still stuff there, but it's not worth it anymore for me to go there. But uh, I only have three lives. Like lives are not something I have a lot of, so. The, fa the fact I, uh, I I got myself killed there did not help things right now. All right, and here we have the Doom Sphere, basically a nice damage multiplier thing, as far as I can tell. And. And I finished it off with like a basically a super shotgun blast, which is the which is what this one does. Uh, the shotgun does for its uh, uh, combo ending. I forgot what the game calls it. Sorry, it's it combo combo finisher. I think uh, that's what that is. So that's what this game does for that. Like every weapon has its unique one, and, and from what I've seen, you can't switch weapons to. Uh, Okay, now, now, now you can see my camera does not move as much when I use a sword as well. So I can hit this guy. So, the, the entire game is kind of a throwback to kind of the more arcade shooters, especially with the fact that the, the live system is kind of forced upon you here. Uh, so it doesn't. It really doesn't screw around. Uh, so you you gotta get, you gotta pick up the treasure and you know try and find the secrets for the lives and things like that. Things like that really help.
Especially with the speed, like I am, this is like, this is the default speed. Now the purple projectiles are gonna come in on me, but I kind of dodged them, so we're good. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with the, this guy. Okay, there you go. So, all the attacks here, you just have to, like... It's kind of like Mega Man-style stuff. I, I think that was mentioned before. Oh, hey, who's this guy? Are you talking to yourself? Yeah, I guess that last secret there had like two pieces of treasure. That's okay. Oh, that's black and white. I don't really have much to say during these parts. As I said, I'm just letting you read it if you want to. I mean, I don't really want to read out the dialogue. Reading isn't exactly my forte. I mean, if you know me at all, like, story in video games ain't my thing. I just, I kind of play for the gameplay. Hey, we're in the disposal area. FYI, you can completely skip this by pressing escape. As I said, I'm just doing it for you guys. I'm skimming through it myself and just like, uh, uh, all right, here we got another pistol. So, um, oh, uh, actually, I, I forget if you lose all your weapons. If you, I just, I did die and I don't think I lost my weapons, so I think you're supposed to. Uh, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Like, don't, don't take my advice on that. I, I have a very short attention span. Let's go the blue way first. Uh, yeah, so like this is this is uh, how, when the game actually starts to kick off the last level was as I said more of a tutorial level uh, introducing you to uh, Some of the some of the new uh, well basically the bullet mechanics and uh, Whatever the doom sphere is All right, we got some money We need we need we need our cash Okay, so this is the blue door. So this is these are the blue gates Uh, so we gotta find out a button to to open the gates. The buttons basically act as uh, keys, from what I can tell. I should probably use this melee weapon a little bit more because it, this thing is amazingly powerful. Oh, and here's a. Oh, I was gonna use the combo thing for that, just to show you what this one does. Make sure no no one's uh and I still like the shotgun. Sh 
Shotgun is one of those good core weapons. That looks uh, really risky to get. Let's try. I think I have enough, like, air momentum. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Wow. Okay, that one was really risky to get, but I did it, so. Yeah, some of these secrets just don't seem really worth it, because it's like, oh, if you screw it up, you, you give up a life. Somehow I managed just to do that one fine, but the one that was actually just an easy jump, I uh, didn't really do. And, uh, oh, yeah, there's a... Uh, <laughs> Tons of... I, I, I guess what's dismemberment there. Like the bot corpse just blow up into glorious giblets. Alright. Can I just hop on it? Oh, no. Let's get away for a sec. Uh, I want to see if I can jump on top of this. Oh, there you go. That's the secret. So if you don't destroy these barrels, you get a you get to grab the stuff on the top because these are explosive barrels. Now, if you've been noticing that, I haven't really exploded any of them. I think. Here, I'll do it now. Except I'm awful. And I didn't get anybody with it. Ah, oh, there's a lot of people. Oh, there's a lot of parallels like things over there. Okay, well, we, we, we only have one direction we can go in anyways. I'm not very good at projectile dodging. A very, very important part of this game. And I'm just doing mediocre at it. As I said, throw back to some older arcade style games. If it's your thing, which it definitely should be at some point. Well, we haven't seen many games like this in a very long time. Oh, that's nice. And I got an extra life for doing that as well. So, you know, the the, the game is actually fairly generous with, uh, with lives, even though I'm playing on uh, hardcore, but we'll see. Oh boy. Alright. I'm wondering if I should jump to there. I'll try it. That was a bad idea. Well, time to come back to life. <laughs> oh, I do, you do get to keep all your weapons. However, unfortunately, everything respawns. Fortunately, the secret also respawns, so... I'm getting slightly annoyed by this. these guys. And as I said, I, I'm, I'm kind of forced to do this because I there is no live system. Well, sorry, um, I I totally mis mis said that. Um, there is a live system, but there's no uh, there's no saving, so uh, I'm just kind of expected to go through this again. Actually, let's see. There, is there anything down here? And that's, that's what I mean, actually. I think that takes a... Well, I'm not sure if it takes away, but some of those perilous jumps, I just... You simply don't want to do. Unless you're, like, really, really good at that kind of stuff. Like, I... I kind of thought I would be able to make that jump, j given that, um... One of the jumps was from a, this platform to there, but... You know... I... I... Can't exactly tell the distance yet. I mean, I guess if you played the game a, a really crap ton, then, uh... You definitely know the distance. Oh, I'm actually out of shotgun ammo. I, I think I think for the remainder of the game, any perilous jumps like that that have goodies on them, I'm just gonna skip. They're not worth it for me. I'm I'm not confident, and the reward isn't even that high. It's just a bit of gold there. I mean, it, I got maybe just a fraction of a life fr from like when I got it. So I think I, I have a feeling that lives are gonna be a very precious commodity. Because uh, I, I think I am aware of what happens when you run out of lives. You begin the entire level again, and you have to uh, find all your weapons again. So I would rather not have to do that. That's the choice we make, guys. 
Alright, let's see what opened now. Oh, that's that door in that previous room. Well, we'll just head right over there. I mean, I am also missing the secrets, but th those are, as I said, very perilous secrets. All right, so okay, this is pretty much. Um, I, I'm not exactly familiar with what's uh, changed past this point. Uh, I only have basically my uh, previous uh, playthrough to go on here, and um, I, I think one of the things I mentioned about the last game was uh, a lot of these like uh, there's a lot of these rooms where you would basically it'd be kind of like mirrored to go around it. Uh, like there was two directions, and they'd have like almost the exact same enemies. Most of the time. Uh, this is probably a trap. And also that guy has another a new smash attack. Making... Actually melee one of the best things because then he's completely... Distra- I would have never guessed that that sword would be the best against him. And this guy's shooting homing projectiles and I don't like him. Oh, we got some pulse cells. It's basically a weapon we don't have right now. And there goes down the blue dates. And we get a basically a full health pack there. And we, we head now back to the beginning. Now, th these two things have gates, so you get a little bit of a, a, a goodies when you, uh, when you finish a section. But we're gonna actually head back for a sec because I, I remember there being stuff over here. Or no, it was a teleporter. You found a big secret. Um, had to rack my brain. That's that was the achievement I got. All right. <laughs> well, that one that one was pretty obvious though. I just had to go back, but I, I don't think that one was meant to be any more difficult. Uh, all right. There's uh, a nice thing over here. This is not as difficult to, for me to get. Oh, there's a nice lava pit down there. I mean, at least there's some some kind of a checkpoint system. Uh, if what I remember from this place, I really don't want these to be up. As we've learned from these robots, malaying them is the best idea. I'm pretty sure the other guy is right behind me. Alright, we got we got a checkpoint. There we are. After the robots. Checkpoint. Why the one before? Alright. I like the fact though that there is actually a point to the combos now. You know, I, I may have actually now skipped something up there because I really want to use the combo. Also, I'm, I'm teaching you guys how to get hit by every projectile in case this is something you want to do. It's definitely the best way to play games like this. Uh, I can't go back up there. Alright. Oh, max health plus five. Nice. It's like, uh... Kind of, I think, serious Sam related stuff, maybe? And we got extra life as well. Alright. I think that's it. Some nice rooms with nothing in them. Oh, it makes the level feel bigger. And railgun. Yeah, it's not bouncing around the camera as much anymore, so I'm actually I'm actually content with that. That's that's a nice setting. Probably the really hardcore players will just want it off uh, completely, but... And gold. Tons of gold. Probably just should do that. I have a lot of ammo for this thing. So 
So with the higher difficulty levels, uh, one thing that does occur is that um, the game itself mentions that the uh, the enemy's health remains the same. So everything doesn't become more tankier, which is like a, like you know tankiness in enemies uh, for difficulty levels is actually really crappy game design. Uh, I'll just see games like Oblivion did that and stuff like that. It was just annoying to have to scale it like that. Um, which is why nobody really bothered to do anything with that one. However, in this game, it is, uh, it, it just increases the projectile speed, and this guy totally doesn't know I'm here. I was wondering why I couldn't move forward. So it, it, it scales, like, the projectile speed, uh, I think the amount of enemies, things like that. I haven't really, I, I haven't played any of the difficulty levels to know exactly what changes, but... Uh, from the game explicitly does state inside some of the help credits uh, that well, well the help tips essentially it does state that uh, It does not scale uh, The health at all so the enemies you're seeing You know, I don't have to I don't have to deal with uh, and we got more we have more gold uh, The enemies you're seeing they, they don't get more tanky which would be a re which would be a real cop-out for for designing the game So they, they've done it. They've done a good job in that regard. Oh, purple projectile just hide behind a wall. And we got some more pulse cells, but I haven't not picked up that weapon yet. I think it's for foretelling the future. And we got that, and we got another full health pack, which we don't need. All right, now here we are back at the beginning. We can pick up some armor. Don't really need that one either. Cause we need some nice health for that. You know, there's been some guys here the entire time. Uh, I doubt there'd be anything there. Oh. Well, here's the weapon. Uh oh. Well. Oh, uh, I, I screwed up the combo. Oh god. So I'm, I'm trying to stay far away. Maybe I have to jump every time they smash the ground. No, I don't. Just I just have to be far enough away. So I can range them. This, this weapon, though, has a very... Like, you can notice how the... The projectiles have like a bullet drop to them. Uh, that's the disadvantage of this weapon. Uh, and obviously the shotgun works like the shotgun, this one works like the pistol. I do like the, the kind of the bobbing motion of these weapons, they're really nice. And we're done. Oh, uh, I missed one kill somewhere. Probably in one of the secrets. Well, that's all the time we got for today, guys. Uh, next time, more Rack. Take care, everybody.